Time now for Inside Out with SNY NBA insider Ian Begley. And we'll get to Grimes in just a moment, Ian. But let's start with Julius Randle. No Barrett, Burks, or Toppin. So the Knicks needed him to take over, but he only delivered eight points. Why can't he carry this team at times this year like he was able to do last year? You know, one thing with Julius Randle carrying this team, I think the Knicks are at their best when he's not trying to carry the team. I think tonight or you looked at this Milwaukee game and you saw that he took just nine shots. So based on what I saw, he was making plays out of the post. And when the attention got to him, he was he was trying to find his teammates on the perimeter. He was passing the ball a lot. And that's what you want from Julius Randle. I think if the Knicks are going to be at their best, he's not trying to dominate the ball and do too much. He's getting off the ball. I think you saw that against Milwaukee. His shot wasn't falling. No one else's shot was falling outside of Quentin Grimes. So when you talk about Randle and Kevin, Carrying the team, I really don't think that's what you want. When the Knicks are at their best, the ball's moving around, the ball's being shared, everyone's hitting shots, and Randall's the fulcrum of it, but he's not needing to score 40 points to carry you every night. Now, the depleted roster didn't lead to more time for Kemba Walker, but obviously more time for Quinton Grimes, and he responded in a big way. Ian, could Sunday's performance lead to Grimes cracking Tibbs' rotation uh, for more games in the near future? Well, he's definitely going to be in more games uh, in the very near future because with R.J. Barrett and Obi Toppin, they're going to have to post back-to-back -back negative COVID tests before they're allowed back on the floor, or they're going to have to wait 10 days, whichever comes first. So you would think that at least on Tuesday, the Knicks are going to be shorthanded again, and it's obvious that you go back to Grimes there because he was fantastic uh, against the Bucks. Longer term, bigger picture. You know, they committed to Evan Fournier. They just put Alec Burks in as the point guard in the starting role there. So I don't know how much more shaking up Tom Thibodeau can do of his lineups or his rotations. And so there's no obvious place to put Quentin Grimes in the rotation at the moment. But certainly injuries, anything, a trade can lead to him sneaking in there. And what he showed you on Sunday is that he's not scared of the moment. Well, maybe on Tuesday they can get Burks back in the rotation when they host Steph Curry and the Warriors. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us here on Geico Sports Night.